extra bodies have sneaked on. And off we go. The 165th meeting between Arsenal and Everton in the top flight. That is a record. There's never been a goalless draw between these sides at Highbury. And let's hope that that particular record remains intact this afternoon. Lehman's first touch. Away by Stubbs. Perez. Will Torn. Stubbs across. Early teasing centre. Lundberg went up. It's away by Graveson, but uh, no distance in that clearance. Graveson again. Looking for Chadwick. But the Tellen, who last season had a month on loan at uh, Derby County in the first division, failed to find the net in six games. But uh, prior to Wayne Rooney's dramatic emergence at Goodison, he was the one much was expected of in the forward department. Gilberto, Ashley Cole, Perez happy to go infield to Gilberto once more. One ball again trying to release Henri, should be easy for Unsworth. It's a poor heavy clearance. Youngberg, everything to his left. It's fallen for Youngberg again. Just wouldn't quite run for the Swede in the vital moment there. away from him there and Unsworth will be relieved that he didn't put in a, a firm challenge there he mistimed it he could be looking at a penalty early on it's been a fantastic recovery from those damaged ankle ligaments less than a month ago usually it'll be at least four to five weeks he's back within three weeks Campbell Perez it's a bit short and haven't won at Highbury since January 1996 when a former Everton player, Bruce Riot, was the Arsenal manager. Graham Stewart and Andre Kanchelskis were their scorers on that afternoon. Since then, Arsenal have won seven on the bounce. New Arsenal keeper Watson sending Cole tumbling Perez made the run it's away by Yobo again short by Unsworth Lundberg just stopped in his tracks by Mark Pembridge one up here well the first shot of the day and let's hope they improve and just one thing on his mind here get his body in the right position to try and get the drive in towards goal as it is it just troubled the people in the executive boxes above that goal It's his turn to try his luck. First save of real note by Jens Lehmann in an Arsenal shirt. Noticeable already that Watson is doubling up on Robert Perez. Watson trying just to cry him out on that left hand side of the park. It's Vieira coming forwards. Only Everton's offside trap working on that occasion. A bit of 
view of it from this position. It's tight. I think we'll give the assistant referee the benefit of the doubt. Straight there by Toure to hold off Radzinski. Picked on by Henri. Now Wurtel. Runs with first to it. Radzinski. Already the pattern is emerging. Everton can't get the ball. And Arsenal settling into their stride. Pistoni can't find Radzinski. Brzezinski to his right. Need some bodies in the middle. And Chadwick is there! Good save by Lehman. It isn't away yet though. Pembridge still has half an opportunity. Unsworth. Now Graveson. Plenty of blue shirts in and around that penalty area. Well, who would have thought that Everton would have the first real attempt at goal? Pistoni. Graveson. Crowd have gone quiet. Vieira has gone down awkwardly. Nick Chadwick, the 20-year-old, almost putting Everton in front from Razinski's centre. And Lehman's left boot denies him. Well, Vieira looks in some trouble here. Lewin, the physio, is going swiftly to administer treatment. Pretty clear what the problem is, exactly how it occurred. Quite sure at the moment. Went in to challenge Pistoni. Whether or not there was some kind of follower through by the Italian, not sure. So Everton encouraged by that attempt by Chadwick. With a chance to test Lehman once more. Pembridge and Graveson over it. It'll be Pembridge to deliver. That's a row by Campbell. That was a funny way. Elsewhere in the Premier League today, Leicester, one of the new teams, one of the promoted teams, have just gone in front against Southampton. Paul Dickoff penalty. So we just watch once more how Razinski picked out Chadwick, or rather Chadwick just made that ball his, got there ahead of Lauren. And but for Lehman, Everton would be in front. Chadwick on the shoulder of Campbell. Vieira back on the pitch and looks okay. And there he is. It's a bit loose, cleared by Watson. Away by Colt. Everton's finish of seventh last season was their best in seven years, but uh, not quite good enough for a Euro European spot. As Watson turns it over again, Chadwick is in there. A confident take by Lehman. So far, so good. The new Arsenal goalkeeper, Lara. Gilberto. Same for Perez, didn't quite read it initially. Cole does well. Now Perez with a bit of room in which to operate, but Razinski got back well, although not well in the eyes of Mark Halsey. Felt that 
the Canadian international, trip the French international. So Arsenal's turn to threaten from the free kick. And Richard Wright, who season before last was the Arsenal keeper for much of the season, has to uh, await the free kick. It's a three man wall. There's Henri going to go for glory from this distance and this angle. Well, he did, you know. It's not too far off. Hit with pace. Just one thing in his mind. Easily around the wall. And in the end, not enough dip. Richard Wright's positioning looked as, as though he'd got it covered anyway. between Toure and Chadwick the Arsenal man comes through Chadwick seems to have bunked out since the back end of last season certainly gave as good as he got there of Radzinski just gets down ahead of Cole now Watson and John Stewart only reaches Lungo second touch wasn't the best he's still got possession force wide to Viltord Henri is there Yobo does enough Stoney has to follow suit but Perez has it back for Arsenal this is Henri how many blue shirts are around him quickly? Good defending by Everton. No surprise there. Much of the secret of their success is their ability to put in the hard work, never give up anything, defend well as a unit. This is Gravison. Hasn't scored away from home. Thomas Graveson and with shooting like that you're not that surprised just five in his Everton career all of them at Goodison shows his confidence what's stopped by Vieira Pembridge Gravison this is Unsworth Stubbs oh, seizing it for Arsenal ahead of him Viltord and Henri committed challenge by Stubbs and it's a free kick in a dangerous position over committed himself the Everton captain stretched a little bit too much and there's definite contact No yellow card, just a stern lecture from Mark Halsey. But punishment might come in another form. Look how many blue shirts are back behind that ball. Four in the wall at the moment, plus another four in the penalty area. One on the line, then the goalkeeper. I mean, that ten. Henri went close from a much more acute angle earlier. This is more straightforward. I want to leave it for Perez and fool everybody. Richard Wright should know something about their techniques from his time at Arsenal. 
it will be Henri. And for the second time, it's off target by the Frenchman. Stubbs. Chapwick is proving a real handful for Torre at the moment. Rabison battling to regain possession away from Vieira. And wins himself the free kick. The Arsenal fans none too happy about that. Vieira offers no complaint. Elsewhere, Leicester have got a second against Southampton. Les Ferdinand with his first goal for his latest club. Fulham nil, Middlesbrough 1 is the latest score from Loftus Road. Marinelli for the visitors there. Here, as you can see, 0-0. Best chance falling Everton's way. But for this man, Leyden. And that's my goalkeeper. Thought that he was fouled there by the man he denied. Nick Chadwick in the sixth minute. Well, I think that Chadwick had every right to go for that ball. The goalkeeper did not have control of it. First corner goes Everton's way. All could want to deal with. Across the six yard box. Well, he came for it, but was nowhere near it, was it? In the end, it's come off Vieira, and that really should be Everton's second corner. Gravison. Vieira. Brilliant stuff away from Gravison. On for Lundberg. Just had to stretch a bit. Laren. Only wants it short and gets it short. Inside the box. Good pullback. Just the head of Sylvain Wiltord. Pistoni does all that he could, which is turn it away for a corner. First real sign we've had of Henri in the box. A bag of tricks. Nobody gambled. Stubbs could keep the header down. Good delivery. Right came and then went back. Line. Perez again Watson and Pistoni doubling up against him you know, those clearance finds Radzinski Not an awful lot of blue shirts up in support predictably and in the 
end. He uh, runs out of pitch. Thomas Rosinski, Everton's leading goal scorer last season with 11 to his name. All in the Premiership. Fulham have got an equaliser at Loftus Road. Marley, the goal scorer there. One each against Middlesbrough. And Blackburn are in front against Wolves at Ewood Park. And it's one of their summer signs. And Russo has got that goal. So Blackburn 1, Wolves 0. Leicester 2, Southampton 0. Fulham 1, Middlesbrough 1 elsewhere this afternoon. Driven cross by Unsworth. Fall as far as Razinski. Powering the shot. This Barclay card English Premier League game and I think David Moyes will be more than happy with the way things are going Arsenal haven't forced a save from his goalkeeper best chance has gone Everton's way his team continues to work hard and don't forget as I'm sure you won't but he's still got Wayne Rooney up his sleeve for the last 20 minutes or so shouldn't be forgotten he scored on this ground last season one of his six Premiership strikes Pires. Looking for Henri. Right, got enough of a touch on it to help it on its way. Yobo completes the tying up operation. Linderoff. Hunsworth. From one side of the field, back the other. The most accurate of balls by Hunsworth. in a good position to spot whether or not that touched the arm or the chest goes against Graveson Lauren Lundberg Arsenal just trying to create an opening still might get in here in the end Hansworth does just enough to put off Youngberg and we'll just see the uh, bit of strapping there on his shoulder to the left-hand side of his neck where he's had that problem this week Graveson clears Razinski is caught offside Arsenal of course set off on a cracking pace this time last season unbeaten in their opening nine games with seven wins and two draws of course they came up against Everton and a certain Wayne Rooney at Goodison Park in October who stopped them in their tracks Good work by Henri can't quite find Jungberg Razinski Raveson Campbell across to impress that man, Sven Joran Eriksson who later today announces his squad for the friendly against Croatia at Ipswich on Wednesday I thought there's any doubt that Campbell will be in that squad Average down for Gramerson Gilberto can't get back at him it's a great run by Gramerson, wonderful run Campbell caught him and is that a goal scoring opportunity will this be a red card Mark Halsey having a good long think about it but wonderful skill by Graveson away from Gilberto away from Torre Campbell certainly caught him Arsenal will point at the fact that Cole was there but it doesn't matter it's a red card for Saul Campbell and after all the controversy of the Community Shield at Cardiff last week, more for Saul Campbell this afternoon. Campbell dismissed on 25 minutes, Arsenal down to 10 men.
and it's a headache for Arsene Wenger let's have another look away from Gilberto that challenge should have been better Campbell definitely caught him but you can see that Cole was close to Graveson Lauren was across as well and I think that Wenger will probably argue the case later on but it doesn't matter he's off He will not be Arsene Wenger's favourite referee. Sent off Sol Campbell before, famously. So, a controversial twist on the opening day of the new Premiership season. And who's to say Everton won't capitalise further? It's a golden opportunity for them, isn't it? Lehman wants five of those ten in the wall. It was Gravison's run that caused the, dam the damage. And he is over the ball, but Stubbs is there too. And generally, it's the Everton number four, the captain, that tends to strike these. Didn't score that many. Here he goes. Two to four. It strikes the wall. just to resist this bit of pressure it's away by Perez of all people Pembridge thought about knocking it in early instead it's Gravison with a better angle it's away by Gilberto and it's another Everton corner Arsenal just needing to stand firm for the next five minutes or so looking a little bit shell-shocked at the moment Martin Keown off the bench down beneath us warming up ready-made sub of course the centre of the Arsenal defence who would be the sacrificial lamb to enable that substitution stop still in the box Pembridge's corner nowhere near to him Never stay down it's Watson oh, he went for glory Felt that he could get it first time. He was aware that Lehman was coming out to meet him. Graveson. Look at the way Everton are dominating possession in the last five minutes. It's all blue at the moment. It's Razinski. Away by Gilberto. Perez can't keep it in. Everton certainly in the ascendancy, but they will know that this is the ideal chance chance that before the game they may well have felt wouldn't have come their way a chance to put Arsenal on the rack at home Yoba going for Unsworth it's Kent Everton need to keep possession need to work Arsenal need to make that extra man pay but there is Martin Keown hamstring problem has to be put to the back of his mind right now as Arsene Wenger needs him, Arsenal need him. Easy for Yoba. Just to go back to who might come off it, could well be Sylvain Viltor. Just a glimpse of the ball down beneath us. And seem to get tugged a bit by Cole. Arsenal will be grateful for the chance to just to relieve some of this pressure that has come their way and bring on Martin Keown. It is indeed Sylvan Viltor that makes way.
This is why Keona's had to be brought on. With this challenge by Campbell, definite kick on the knee of Graveson, but there are the two Arsenal defenders who I suppose you could argue were about to close him down. As I said earlier, I'm sure that that is a point that Arsene Wenger will make at the end of the game. But that is still some 60 minutes away. Perez. So let's just try and work out how Arsenal will reshape. Will they stay with four men in midfield or will Jungberg be asked to get Henri who's going on a terrific run here. Yobo with the tackle. Arsenal fans claim a penalty. I'll see the referee couldn't have been better placed. Plenty of blue in that penalty area. And one of those is Ravison who clears. Perez couldn't control. Unusually for him. Passy down by Jungberg. Graveson after him now. Stubbs gets in the way. Youngberg settles for the throw. Appeared to be a foul throw, but not spotted. Vieira. Perez. Here's an opportunity if he can let one go. It's fallen for Henri. It might fall for Perez. And Yobo will clear. Perez tumbled momentarily, but as you can clearly see, saying to the referee that no, it wasn't because of the challenge. Lost my balance. Certainly wasn't a dive. Great play. Look at this little pass on by Henri. Fell for Perez and desperate challenges going in. Well, it might be goalless, but we've got a real game on our hands here at Highbury. Arsenal almost playing with a handicap, if you like. Down to 10 against 11 man Everton. See if they're good enough to beat them even with one man down. Stubbs clears. Chadwick does enough to help it on to Radzinski. Too far for Watson. But Pistoni is coming forwards from the back. Linderoff. Pembridge and Unsworth. And Keown to tidy up for Arsenal. Blackburn have a second goal against Wolverhampton. Thompson with that second goal. Amoruso with the first. Leicester two up over Southampton. Fulham 1-1 with Middlesbrough. Youngberg looking to release Henri. In behind Stubbs. Did that strike the arm? It did, and it's a penalty. now favoured around Highbury again good positioning and he got a clear view of that and Henri's trickery has earned Arsenal a penalty kick well they'll have faced each other no doubt on the training ground in the past. What can Richard Wright remember of those occasions? Making himself as big as possible. Henri tucks it away with customary aplomb. Henri is on his way again. So too perhaps Arsenal. of the season for the Frenchman and counting right sent the wrong way actually it wasn't far off uh, right down the middle was it one of those that had the goalkeeper stood where he was he may well have 
been able to kick it away. So Arsenal down to ten men, but in front. The kind of thing that champions are made of. Weathered the storm, and there was a storm for some five minutes, wasn't there? But now they're in front. And once again, a hybrid meeting between these two teams delivers at least a goal. Radzinski who's down. And while he has treatment, the game goes on. Ten against ten. see what Everton's game plan will be now and we're happy to invite Arsenal onto them defend in depth and get them on the counter attack certainly prior to Campbell that was the uh, the game plan as Wayne Rooney he was on the first of his uh, limbering up exercises up the touchline just in case Radzinski's injury proves a serious one Ideally, David Moyes won't really want to introduce his 17-year-old starlet until that's a part of the second half, I wouldn't have thought. So on the opening day of the Barclay Card English Premier League, Arsenal are in front again through this man Henri. The over for company once again. Jungberg trying to get away from Gravison. Vieira, Cole to his left. This is Perez, he looks for Cole, good backtracking by Watson, looks a bit casual, Youngberg for Perez, good football by Arsenal, this is Cole, Youngberg with a bit of space, teases over the centre, Perez with a flick on, too fine a glance in the end by Robert Perez, delicious football by Arsenal, a yard away from Stubbs and Yobo, and right, just reminding his central defences, He's, they've got to be tighter than that. Cannot give Perez that kind of room. Certainly cannot give Thierry Henry that kind of room. Well, again, Mark Halsey couldn't have been better positioned, could he, for that decision? He was almost in the tackle himself. Perez blocked by Watson the error in there first for Arsenal making the ball his tells Cole to get on forward Henri has dropped square here is Cole led by Yobo it's time Gilberto getting in there swiftly for Arsenal winning the 50-50s now the home team Henri the goal scorer Thanks by two Emergency. It's keep ball time. Here's Lowen. Last five minutes possession. It's been Arsenal the dominant side. Remember earlier we showed you Everton in charge of that particular statistic. Just how well Arsenal have come back at them. Look how easily they're keeping the ball now. Arsenal happy to retain possession. Try and work the opening. It's Gilberto. Everybody backing away from it, it's off on eight, and it's behind. But all of a sudden, Everton can't get close to Arsenal. First 20 minutes, they were snapping in the tackles. Here it just opened up for Gilberto. Not an awful lot to aim for. Sending off. Watson. Yeah. 
snapping at his heels. Stoney. Too much there. Robinson sent sprawling. Has to be a yellow card. So the first yellow card of the season for the Arsenal captain. That's uh, really an easy decision to make for referee Halsey. Nowhere near the ball. Stubbs, this is Pembridge picking up the loose ball. Unsworth. Gravison with Pistoni to his right. Bartinski. Cole closing him down. The error across there as well, cutting out the pass to Lindroth. And Everton forced to go back to Richard Wright. And this with an extra man. For Watson, can Everton capitalise with Razinski? Well, the deflection took it up and over. Worth a snapshot from Razinski. It got caught up a bit with uh, Ashley Cole. It was a fortunate bounce for Everton. Watson did well, and then it came off Chadwick and over the crossbar. Pretty level in terms of goal attempts. Arsenal's only shot on target was the goal. Razinski. Again, it's off an Arsenal player and favours Everton. Linderoth. Looking for Pembridge. The early ball across. He yeah, deals with it. Chadwick was on his shoulder. Not a bad man to have up your sleeve if you lose your England international Sol Campbell. Put on the former England international Martin Keogh I think that Arsenal will just be happy just to uh, make sure that it's still 1-0 at the break it's all surprised to see a bit of keep ball between now and the half-time whistle from the men in red and white Raymond hasn't played that particular part of the script Everton have the ball back with Unsworth Pistoni goes up around the ground when Henri gets the ball wherever he is on the pitch stops away the penalty for Unsworth Yobo made his uh, move to Everton permanent in the summer months the ball's forward now from uh, Everton lacking any quality successful year on loan last season from Marseille could have actually joined Arsenal Joseph Yobo when he moved up to Goodison Park he had a better opportunity of first team football at Goodison rather than Highbury we're going to have uh, two minutes of added time at the end of this first half It's a game that's uh, ebbed and flowed so far. Chances at a premium. Arsenal taking the one that's come their way, and here's Youngberg again trying to cause 
for the danger. To Arsenal were one man short. They have more than matched Everton. A dodgy spell for about five minutes after Campbell went off, but since then they have more than matched Everton for work rate. And they've got that important goal through Thierry Henry. Chadwick's flick on. Razinski collects. And so isolated the two front Everton players. Gilberto. This is Linderoff for Everton. Razinski. Graveson. It's a bit short. Ori onto it swiftly. Gilberto to his right. This could be game over. This one goes in. And a rush of blood to the head by Gilberto. Knows he should have done better. Just the keeper to beat. What was the thinking of? Oh, he's so swift to capitalise. There's the ball. Go on, help yourself. And Gilberto couldn't. A man that's never scored in the Premiership or at Highbury. That kind of effort. Uh, I doubt he ever will. That's the end of the first half. The first half in which Mark Halsey has reduced Arsenal to 10 men and awarded Arsenal a penalty which was tucked away with consummate ease by Thierry Henry. And at half-time at Highbury on the opening day, it's Arsenal who lead Everton by a goal to nil. front as we go into the second half Everton to get us underway somehow they've got to uh, get some extra quality in the final third from that effort from Nick Chadwick in the sixth minute Jens Lehmann the new Arsenal goalkeeper hasn't really been that troubled Everton have to make that extra man pay Robinson on for Chadwick, good first touch, now Watson faced by Cole, Cole forcing him into a cul-de-sac, good defending work by the Arsenal and England fullback, Alan Kirbishley the Charlton manager, Charlton don't start their Premiership campaign until tomorrow, it's quite a diluted Saturday afternoon programme today, Three games tomorrow. A couple of early kickoffs today. Vieira. 
Lauren had plenty of time. As does Keown. Arsenal caught offside there and they couldn't have been much more than five yards inside the Everton half. Everton pushing up. Almost Arsenal fashion of the late 80s in the line. Watson momentarily looked like he was getting beyond Cole, right in front of the Everton fans, who, like Watson, thought he was just tugged back a bit by the England defender. This is Vieira trying to run away from Pistoni. Pistoni did enough. Gilberto, Vieira and Perez. Cole. Pistoni. It's that long ball forward. Cleared by Cole. Now Vieira. Gilberto. Looking to release Henri. He almost spotted it. Gravison for Pembridge. It's a scrappy start to this second half. Now the team seemingly able to get their foot on it. It's a little bit tight. Pistone. Watson. Cole with a challenge. Gilberto. Now Henri, Youngbo to his right, Perez to his left, showed too much to Yobo. Cole, Perez, got a bit of room, and running at Yobo. Pistoni is back there as well for Everton, and between them, Everton defenders tidy up, but at the cost of a corner. They par now warming up down beneath us. Dennis Burkamp and Franny Jeffers also on the Arsenal bench along with the reserve goalkeeper Stuart Taylor. Martin Keown up from the back for the corner. Hasn't scored for many a year. Perhaps he fancies it against his former club. Henri to deliver. Keown was the target. Stops did enough. Martin Keown, who of course uh, had a spell at Everton before rejoining Arsenal in 1993. And Stubbs needed to be there. Chadwick continues to run miles up front for our Everton. Finding Gravison. Supplied by Pistoni, but not a decent cross, I'm afraid. Linder. It's all a bit predictable from Everton. Just 50 minutes into the season. Long balls in towards the penalty area. It's a very troubling Arsenal. It was Henri at the other end, taking on Yobo for pace. Yobo has pace, needed it. Wins Everton a goal kick. Must have come off Henri last. Ever since the sending off of Sol Campbell with the change that Arsenal Wenger brought about, i.e. to take off Iltord and put on Keown, Henri has on his own up front. So it hasn't let it affect him at all. This is Perez again finding room. Arsenal shouldn't be able to do that against a, a team that has one man advantage. It's Perez going himself. He's forced wide by Yobo. Unsworth across there as well. Everton do well. This is Lauren. Perez shaking off Gravison. Looking for Henri and Pistoni. Again, the last man just tidying up as Henri trying to get in on his shoulder. He looks worn out. We've been playing only 51 minutes. Arsenal winning the corner count, 4-3. Everton certainly have more bodies back than Arsenal have forward. Some 
sometimes that can just add to the confusion in your own penalty area. And it does on this occasion, but it's narrowly wide. The error got up so, so well, and well, David Moyes will surely look at the number of blue shirts in there and say, look, there are two red shirts in there to begin with and then Vieira gets free and he has no right to do that Pistone Vieira back there from one end of the pitch to the other so such a crucial component of this Arsenal side Gravison not a good ball given away cheaply A bit of a tangle. Good play by Arsenal. Crisp. First touch football. Actually caught. Stoney again getting there ahead of Henri. Gravison. Stoney. On for Chadwick who's made a good run. And look for the corner and got it off Torre. Stoney, it's the centre line, not good, so we'll have to do it all over again, Mark Pembridge in front of the Everton supporters in that corner of the ground, again Pistoni has a bit of space, Wayne Rooney is getting ready to come on down beneath us, David Moyes has seen enough, Pembridge to deliver the corner, away by Keown, not once but probably twice, Good work by the Arsenal man. And Lauren. And Toure. And Lehman to find halfway. And beyond. Stone it. Looks like it's going to be Radzinski to make way for Wayne Rooney. Notice that he's taken a knock as Watson gets in behind Cole. Initially looks as though he was going to be able to deal with it, but couldn't. And that's the man who's about to come off that wins it back for Everton. In goes the cross, headed away by Torre after his earlier error. And Jungberg just using his hand there to try and stop the ball reaching Unsworth. Not happy about something that happened. is Wayne Rooney and his manager David Moyes felt that it would be around about the hour mark before we saw him Ramerson that pass and Gilberto getting right to the feet of Graverson and now Arsenal trying to hit Everton on the counter Vieira for Henri couldn't quite pick out Perez in the middle and again it's Bistoni that defends well for Everton how swiftly they break forwards Arsenal you can see exactly what Henri is trying to do just curl it across into the path of Perez Pistoni didn't let him Henri's corner easy for right looking for Radzinski more than equal to it. Showed too much to Gravison. And here's Radzinski again. Chadwick in the middle if he can find him. Others arriving now. Goes himself! I wonder how far away he was. Cole 
guilty of dwelling on the ball in a dangerous area really didn't have too much to aim for Razinski Chadwick wanted it square but there was three Arsenal players plus the goalkeeper in between Chadwick and the goal it's Linderoff that's making way for Rooney so 57 minutes gone and the boy wonder is back on the Premiership stage and Svenja and Eriksson suddenly wakes up in the warmth Lundberg Perez placed by Pistoni Lundberg with a chance to cross instead it's Vieira with a chance to shoot Right fall for Perez, right fall for Henri, good effort, good save, but it's going to go in, is it no save, Perez, it's 2-0, and Robert Perez celebrates his new contract at Highbury with a second goal, moments after Rooney's arrival for Everton. Well, they're all lining up to have a shot. Henri hit his with blistering pace. What a good save by Wright. And then somehow he blocked Vieira's effort, but Perez was not to be denied. And Arsenal now two in front. And even with Rooney on the pitch, surely it's going to be a three-point start for the team that finished second in the Premiership race last season. Zinski, Gravison, Unsworth, good clearance by Cole, Watson was just behind him, approaching the hour mark, in this Barclay card English Premier League tie opening day, and so far so good for Arsene Wenger despite the sending off of Sol Campbell Robert Perez opens his account for the season Arsenal two up and making light work of being one man down not quite how he planned the substitution in terms of the impact it would have Gilberto and as far as Gravison it's a long searching ball that's picked out Unsworth good control Rooney's first touch now Pembridge Unsworth again Razinski now Rooney and as far as Perez yeah and there ahead of Gravison this is where Arsenal are looking so dangerous in the second half on the counter attack with Perez not a lot ahead of him. Noticed that Henri had checked in field. Vieira. Every Arsenal touch cheered. formation at the moment with the introduction of Rooney it's not there effectively playing three up front with Radzinski Chadwick and Rooney all up there means the space in midfield space for Youngberg Henri with Yobo across and who's going to win this tussle Gravison needed to help out and Henri proves that he can tackle as well too pleased with House's decision as to that being a throw in Everton's way Blackburn have got a third goal 
at home to Wolves it's a triple start for the Premiership new boys in all gold and it's another new boy Brett Emerson that's uh, got the goal there Amaruso, Thompson and Emerton here 2-0 to Arsenal and Arsenal looking comfortable Confident play by Cole. Everson again though for Everson. Stoney. Stoney. There doesn't seem to be any real threat from Everson at the moment, but hold on a moment. Pistoni's cross 4 1. See if Watson can do any better. No, he gives it back to Pistoni. It's easy for Torre to clear. Doesn't seem that much belief in the Everton team at the moment. They can score. It's a little bit hopeful. That's probably why David Moyes is reportedly prepared to plunge into the transfer market later this week Chadwick looking for Radzinski Slaren in the way and now Jungberg always close to completing the signing of Sean Davis from Fulham this week and possibly the signing of a former Everton player currently on the bench for Arsenal Fanny Jeffers at the moment that is just speculation but uh, from a good source Arsenal get themselves a free kick good work by Henri just teasing Yobo into the challenge it was a fair challenge just of course his left ankle what can Henri can drop here What a save, point blank range, and the Arsenal captain denied by the agility of the Everton keeper, may well have come off Stubbs right at the end, and Wright got a good firm hand on it. Again Wright needing to be at his most alert. Looks for Razinski. Rabison again. Ball for Rooney. Faced by Youngberg. Youngberg does enough. 
Unsworth to knock it back in there. Watson with the header. Maxwell needing to get it away, and Perez does precisely that. Henri again offside, about three yards inside the Everton half. So, Everton's last throw of the dice, it seems. A couple of changes. Mark Pembridge making way. Gary Naismith coming on for Pembridge. David Unsworth is also coming off. That means the Dia, the man with 79 caps for China, makes his first Premiership appearance of the season. Gravis. Everton needs something quickly, and they might just get it, but it's a simple header in the end for Lehman to deal with. May Smith with his first touch, almost producing a dramatic goal. Steve McManaman, another player that uh, David Moyes has been linked with. Certainly, on today's evidence, needs a bit more flair in this side. Flair that this guy has an abundance. Perez to Henri, faced by Pistoni. Will he take him on? He tear does enough. Everton bring it away with Gravis. Chadwick Pistone <laughs> Ironic applause from the Everton fans as referee Halsey gives what they feel is a, a rare free kick their way change for Arsenal, Ray Parler is getting stripped off over 400 appearances for Arsenal in his time here and, uh, another one just to add to the list any second now Robert Perez scorer of that second goal is the man making way a bad way to uh, conclude a week in which you've committed yourself to Highbury for another three years a big cheer for Ray Parler from the home support so he's going to play on the right hand side of the midfield with Lundberg just dropping into where Perez has been operating which has been left hand side and occasional just behind Henri there is Parler with an introduction to the action and winning Arsenal a free kick so less than 20 minutes to go Arsenal on course for a winning start in this Barclay Card English Premier League match opening day of the season easy for Wright to gather Watson that's a bit short Robertson got there ahead of Youngberg. Chadwick trying to get in beyond Cole. Cole does ever so well. Because Rooney was on there as well. He was crowded out. Cole winning a one against two situation. Robertson trying to switch play. And here's Radzinski. Momentarily it opens up for him. Gilberto just caught him. Now this could be interesting. Rooney wants it, of that there is no doubt.
just looking to edge this into a shooting angle and a bit of a touch by Gilberto not an awful lot but again referee Halsey right on the button very close to the incident and no doubt Fulham are now 3-1 up over Middlesbrough Louis Saha with their third goal Rooney's going to have it Stubbs might want it took one in the first half but Rooney is far more likely to have us in a goal from this situation too many players in the wall six in the wall will it be Stubbs or Rooney it will be Rooney Bit of a touch, Bobo drives it across and then he takes the head off. Steve Watson. Neat here, if anything, headed it away from goal and then Bobo's cross was hit with too much power. And they will have given uh, Steve Watson a bit of a headache. Deserving of their lead. Particularly bearing in mind they've been down to 10 men for most of the game. This is Parler. Gilberto in space but was too slow. Razinski got back well. And now it's Naismith for Everton. And Parler got back well at him. Looking to release Henri. And he's offside again. But sooner or later you just feel that he'll be the right side of the blue line in on goal once more fourth offside it's a bit casual by Lehman Lauren just gets him out of danger immediate danger that is Arsenal bringing it away with Parler bit of a collision with Gravison it's gone Arsenal's way Gravison felt he was completely innocent Parler felt he just stood in his way and stopped his uh, progress and it's earned Gravis and a yellow card. Oh, we get a good angle of it here. Gravison just turned his shoulder into Parler. Oh. Yeah, we've got just enough on that. Roberto through the legs of Razinski. Lauren. Henri, Jobo for company. Looking for Youngberg. As far as Henri again. Shall we dance, says Gravison. We'll settle for the free kick, says Henri. Where is he? Whee! Uh, running alone up front for the best part of uh, 50 minutes or so I'm not sure but Henri gets up gingerly could it all be a ploy just to uh, make, uh, Richard Wright lose his concentration for a moment no, looks like Henri is needing some treatment Harry Lewin to provide it means that Youngberg will try his luck from the free kick to any flexion and that took it onto the bar Keown, Henri wave back on Parler Keown in the right wing position settle for the throw will it? that's what he's got and how close was Freddy Youngberg here took a deflection I'm pretty sure of that off Chadwick Wright was struggling Smacks the face of the crossbar.
Brown. Gilberto. Henri. Back on to Haunt Everton once more. Lee Tier having a couple of swipes at him. He still can't get the ball off Thierry Henri. Vieira. Henri with Parler to his right. Bowen offering an outlet to his right. Krasinski gets back well for Everton. Naismith needs to clear. Looney just caught Toure. It's a stretching, just trying to get to that ball first. Toure went down and, and looked in some pain initially. Seems to have calmed down a bit now. But it will be a yellow card for the 17-year-old. There's always a story around Wayne Rooney. On this occasion, it's not a happy tale for the Everton youngster. This is why he's seen yellow. Caught Colotore just above the right knee, it seems. It's an aspect of his game that uh, many would like to see stamped out. David Moyes would say it's just uh, over enthusiasm. I'll tell you that uh, Wolves have got a goal back against Blackburn. It's Blackburn with a commanding lead, 3-1 to the score there now. Everson scoring his first goal in Wolves colours. Vieira, a sidestep in between Watson and Gravison that made the Everson pair look somewhat foolish. Lead tier. On for Radzinski, ruining the middle, Watson arriving now. Again, excellent defensive work by Arsenal. First Lauren, and then Gilberto. And it's Parla trying to bring it away for Arsenal. Of course, the challenge from Lee Tier, which is going to bring another yellow card. Everton's third. And again, they can't really be any complaints, can they? It's a rash challenge. Nowhere near the ball. And Tia gets his first yellow of the season. Just over ten minutes to go. Arsenal in command. And that will be making their final substitution in a moment. Away by Stubbs. There he is. Francis Jeffers. Once of Everton. Possibly soon to be of Everton again. Rumour Mill has us believe that David Moyes wants to take him back to Goodison, possibly even on a season's loan. Vieira. Henri for Parler. And again. Yobo. Rooney still chasing. Torre wanted Lehman to come. The new German keeper decided not to. Rooney felt he was held back a bit by Keo in the charge for that ball. Gravison. Naismith to deliver left footed. And again. Watson got in the header, and Lehman makes an easy save. Hasn't really been tested, the new Arsenal goalkeeper, apart from that incident in the opening exchanges from Chadwick. Watson got up well here, he's good on these situations, climbs well, he's on target, but not enough power really to trouble the goalkeeper of Lehman's quality. see the push I think is his question to 
referee Halsey. Clearly the referee didn't. Stubbs. Everton needs something dramatic and have a keep with the rest of the game. Arsenal look comfortable. Stoney looking near post. Lehman came and Lehman gathers. All encouraging sights for the Arsenal faithful. Probably 50 50 split over the uh, decision to release David Seaman. But on today's evidence, admittedly, it's been fairly limited. Jens Lehman looks a uh, more than able deputy. Stroke replacement. Stuart Taylor, who managed to get in seven of the last Premiership games last season, but always expected Arsenal to go for a, a more established goalkeeper in the summer months. Money throw has found Lee Tier. Pistonian loads of room. What's the cross like? Again, it's poor. The Everton fans claiming vociferously that it came off Cole's arm. It's been a good afternoon for them. Neyman must have got a touch to Nay Naismith's cross here. There was no need to because it was going nowhere, just the slightest of touches. Yeah, well, I've seen him just have a word with Keown about the need to talk back there. Arsenal will hope it's not too costly. Big tier. Yobo. Naismith. Brzezinski. Goal. Everton back in it. Has that goal come too late? They don't think so. As they check their watches, they will see there was still the best part of seven minutes to go. Arsenal for once couldn't clear their lines. Four marks to Naismith, that's a great ball. And a wonderful finish by Radzinski. Invitation, go on, hit it. And Radzinski met the challenge. Onside. Torre played him onside. And the uh, little touch by Lehman from Naismith's initial cross did in the end prove costly how costly remains to be seen five and a half to go Vieira under hit the ball to Henri stops back for right and his save from Vieira now looking even more crucial Arsenal hold their nerve. Will Everton provide a sting in the tail. A sting that looked most unlikely. Bunsworth. Rooney. Is he caught by Keogh? Suddenly the chances are dialing in. And Leitier could be in trouble here. He's already been booked. And that was late on Keogh. Very fortunate not to have seen the yellow card for the second time there. The challenges were coming in thick and fast. Did he stand on Keown's toe at the end? Everton eager to get on with things and Arsenal equally eager just to calm things down and slow it all down. It's an exciting climax. And then trying to battle back possession. Everton guilty of giving away another free kick. Which will give Arsenal the chance just to eat up more precious seconds before threatening the Everton goal again. The possession in the second half just slightly favouring Arsenal if 
Vieira with a free kick. Wright takes it. What's the distribution like from the Everton keeper? It's picked out Watson. Everton suddenly have belief. Pistoni on the overlap. On towards the goal scorer, Radzinski. Back to goal. Pistoni with the cross. Good header clearance, and who was it but Vieira? The Arsenal captain doesn't let you down. Parla caught by Leotier. And is this the second yellow? It is. It's the red card for Lee Tier. Well, he was fortunate not to go a short while ago, and now the red card shown, and Lee Tier didn't last very long, did he? He's only been on the pitch for about 10 minutes, and Lee Tier probably ends up in tears in the Everton dressing room. An innocuous challenge, but certainly caught Parler and having already been yellow carded and having just escaped with a similar incident less than a minute ago it was always going to be dangerous but can Everton still get an equaliser here's Chadwick Arsenal looks stretched Watson Vieira across and Everton have won themselves another corner and suddenly they're glad that they stayed on. It looked a hopeless cause with 10 minutes to go. But now, Everton asking all the questions. Pistoni's delivery. Free header for Yovo, should have done better. And he knows it. For once, good delivery by Pistoni. Completely and utterly unmarked Yovo. Couldn't keep the header down. Way off target scored in the Premiership it's a better header by Yobo Palm Vieira a little bit risky by the Arsenal captain gets back and dispossesses Watson looks to release Henri Henri caught by Yobo it's a painful blow Henry looks in trouble, but the referee has waved play on. Everton have kicked the ball out now. Enabling Henry to get some treatment. It was a genuine attempt to get to the ball by Joseph Yobo. I think he just, yeah, he just catches the back of his right foot just down the Achilles tendon. Oh, that, that is mightily painful. It's quite a discussion. It's quite heated. But I think Yobo has got away with it in more ways than one. Reluctant forgiveness from Henri. that he's not got a free kick out of that. It's going to be very interesting to see how many additional minutes Mark Halsey decides to add on as both managers stand in their technical areas. Moyes will want a lot, Wenger will not want much. Three minutes it is. I would have thought at least three minutes. Is three minutes enough for David Moyes' men? Yobo, Pastone. Only partially away by Cole. Watson forwards for Rooney. Now then, is this his moment? cleared by Cole I'll tell you that they've had the board up again and it's now four minutes of added time not three, four so Benga will be even more disappointed with that tempers beginning to fray in the August warmth of the opening day of the season both teams down to ten men both teams looking tired but right now of the two sides Arsenal looking a little bit more heavy legged Watson does well. Youngberg is back there for Arsenal. No thought in his mind about just keeping the ball. And he'll hope now that he's not punished. Watson looks for Rooney. Rooney gets away from Lauren, but the foot was high. And having already been booked, he just needs to calm down a bit. We've already seen two reds. Frustration. 
frustration so evident in Wayne Rooney's face. there came in on the blind side with no real possibility of getting the ball right, trying to steal a good 10 yards it's a full house at Highbury most of them have stayed right to the finish and what a finish we have in store Arsenal to all intents and purposes hanging on at the moment hanging on to three points that seem so so comfortable until Mazinski pulled that goal back Gravison Watson has got up again well and has beaten Nunberg and it's the way and behind by Cole Rooney is the champ that goes up what's his delivery like who's going to be the hero in blue and turns it back in early that's a good catch by Hall not needed in the end because the flag was up and the good old offside trap that Arsenal perfected down the years working to good effect a minute remaining Gravison away by Torre on by Vieira to Jungberg now then what will he do on this occasion tried dribbling it last time and got into a bit of difficulty back for Cole on for Vieira who's found space that's by Gravison and Watson excellent play just retaining possession Arsenal have done enough it seems Henri to Parlo with Lauren to his right in space and that's it the final whistle goes Arsenal have hung on Arsene Wenger kicks off a new campaign with three points both he and Moyes saw a player each sent off but Henri's early penalty has set Arsenal on their way Razinski pulled a late one back for Everton but the goal from Robert Perez midway through that second half is enough to give Arsenal three points. It's finished at Highbury on the opening day, Arsenal 2, Everton 1.